I'm going to expose everything that credit repair companies do not want you to know about bankruptcies. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike the Credit Guy, the biggest. If this is your first time to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you find out every time we drop new content, you're gonna hear about it first. We talk about everything credit here. So if you haven't already, hit that like button. That little like button. That way this video goes out to way more people. Okay, in case you didn't know, I am the owner and founder of Limitless Culture. We created the most advanced DIY program in the industry. At $55.99 a month, our system will create custom Metro 2 attack letters, attacking any negative items on your credit reports and all your personal information that's not accurate. Imagine that. Our system will create your letters, email them to you, you print them, you mail them out, certified mail, and you're done. It's just that simple. You don't have to join any um, Facebook groups, you know, the, those archaic things. You don't have to read any modules. You don't have to do any master courses. We cut all that nonsense out. Our system will create those custom letters, email them to you, you print them, you mail them out, certified mail, and you're done. Link is always going to be in the description for our DIY program, the most advanced in the industry. So I know you've probably seen a lot of people say, you know, I'm gonna teach you how to delete this bankruptcy. You can get this bankruptcy off your credit report. So it's really important to understand what happens if you do successfully delete a bankruptcy from your credit report. And is it truly necessary to delete a bankruptcy from your credit report? So if this is your first time on the channel, understand that there's nobody that can tell you whether or not they can delete something from your credit report, let alone a bankruptcy. A bankruptcy is becoming even more difficult to, to delete from a credit report because remember, you have to understand something. This is the hardest part that people do not understand about credit repair, okay? They think that there's some smoking gun letter or something specific you could say or use some USC code. If the information is accurate, complete, and fair, what else do you have left? You have to understand that. Now, even if it's not accurate and it's not complete, the credit bureaus have two choices, either delete the item or update it to be accurate. What choice they make is going to be the, is going to be that of the credit reporting agencies. It's not up to some credit repair company to say, oh yeah, I'm gonna delete it. Like they don't know that. They don't know what the outcome is gonna be. They can, they can try their process over 20 times. They can get five good results and then what happens to the other 15? All of a sudden they become experts in how to delete these items from your credit report, but that's not true because the, the credit bureaus are constantly updating and adapting to these procedures. So when you think that you've beat them, you really haven't. So when a credit repair organization is telling you that, you know, yeah, our process for deleting bankruptcies is really solid, we can get them off. Listen, I've deleted thousands of bankruptcies off of credit reports. You don't see me bragging about it because they're hiding some information that a lot of consumers just don't understand is that you really don't need to delete a bankruptcy from your credit report. You can, in fact, build around it, okay? This is the biggest mistake that people make once they're out of the bankruptcy. They say, what do I do now? Like, oh my God, I, I don't know what to do. How do, I, how do I move forward with my life? You immediately start rebuilding. So people are gonna argue the whole simple fact of, bankruptcies are not supposed to report to the credit bureaus. It's illegal. <laughs> well, think about it. You have, you have defaulted, okay? Or you didn't default, or you just went and just filed a bankruptcy. Those accounts were negatively negatively impacted by your financial standing, okay? So yes, it actually is supposed to report to the credit bureaus, okay? Now, everyone wants to argue about how it got there, that you know it got there by third-party reporting agencies, the credit bureaus didn't put it there, they're just reporting it because of LexisNexis, okay? It doesn't matter. If the information is accurate, complete, and fair, then what is there to actually fight? And there's two things that you need to understand about a bankruptcy. Let's say hypothetically, you get a bankruptcy off of a credit report, okay? Which I have done successfully plenty of times and unsuccessfully, okay? So let's say you get it off the bankruptcy. Now you go and apply for a new mortgage. You're going to need to have at least two years since the bankruptcy has been discharged to even qualify to purchase a home. That's rule number one. Rule number two is, even if the bankruptcy is deleted from your credit report, they can still see it if they pull up a caviar's report or a tri-merge report because that public information is still there. It is still a public record in the court system. You can't get rid of that information. There's nothing you can do to get rid of an actual 
bankruptcy inside of what we call the public system, okay? Because it is a public record. It goes into a massive US bankruptcy court database and you're not gonna delete it from there. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. That way you find out every time I go live or I drop new content, you're gonna hear about it first. If there's anything specific you want me to talk about, drop it in the comment section. Drop some emojis in there so we can get this video going. Don't be afraid to ask a question. That's what we're here for, okay? And if you haven't already, hit that bell notification. That way you find out every time I go live, you're gonna hear about it first. You never know when I'm gonna pop up live. If you're looking to work on your credit, we did in fact create the most advanced DIY program in the industry. For $55.99 a month, our system will create custom Metro 2 attack letters attacking any negative item on your credit report that is hurting you and attack any personal information that is not accurate, okay? We're gonna create those custom letters. Our system is gonna email them to you, you print them out, send them out certified mail, and you're done. You don't have to read any modules or do any master classes or join any archaic Facebook groups. We cut all that nonsense out. Our system is just that simple. We simplified the process. Link is in the description for that. And if you need full service, we do offer full service credit management. We have a Metro to attack program and we do offer a full service pre-litigation program that is designed to get you a free legal review by some attorneys, imagine that. And also we do offer a full service identity theft program for people that have real identity theft issues. Links are always going to be in the description for those, okay? And anyone that joins the DIY program gets exclusive access into my custom app that is available for Android and Apple in those stores, okay? The custom app is designed to create a custom community. We're not censored, none of that nonsense. We can say and do as we please in there so we can help even more, okay? So it's gonna have some of my biggest videos and we're gonna keep adding more to that library. Link is going to be in the description and always remember, last part's the most important. Another very important thing about bankruptcies is to understand if you get rid of the bankruptcy off of a credit report, let's say hypothetically there was a bunch of negative accounts that were on there from the bankruptcy they usually will say included in bankruptcy there's two types of bankruptcy attorneys the really good ones that will get the whole account taken off the credit report and the only thing that will be left on the credit report is the actual bankruptcy itself that's a really good bankruptcy attorney those are usually pretty expensive then there's the other type of bankruptcy attorney that will just mark the item included in bankruptcy Okay, those are still negatively impacting a credit file. So if you delete a bankruptcy from a credit report, any of those accounts can pop back onto the credit report and you're not gonna have any reference to show that you actually had a bankruptcy because you disputed it and now you said it was inaccurate, incomplete and not fair, so they deleted it, okay? If you got it successfully deleted, now those other accounts can pop back on your credit report and now the credit bureaus aren't gonna understand who to believe. Okay, so we deleted it because it wasn't accurate and complete, but now this item is saying it was included in the bankruptcy. Now you're saying this is inaccurate. This makes no sense. You're giving them the freedom to put those back onto the credit report. Nobody's gonna tell you that, and this can happen with certain files. For whatever reason, we've seen it happen before, okay? People will go through the process and they say, um, uh, yeah, I don't know why this account popped up back on the bank on, on, on the credit report from the bankruptcy. Well, because you deleted the bankruptcy. Now, some lenders, debt collectors, whoever it may be, can come after it. Now you have no reference to show that you were actually involved in that bankruptcy. The moment the bankruptcy is discharged, you need to go start and establish a new banking relationship. Not with the regular bank, okay? Because regular banks work for the shareholders. Okay, remember, regular banks, you know, those big banks, uh, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, they work for the shareholders. You need to go with the credit union that works for its members. So you establish a new relationship with them, open up a checking and savings, do a, do a direct deposit, do a secured loan, just like you do when you establish any relationship with any big credit union. You do these steps, and then you can go get a secured credit card with that credit union, because that is going to graduate to an unsecured credit card as long as you're keeping the balance low, okay, reporting as close to zero as possible or zero every single month. That should always be the target goal if you watch this channel. Zero is the target goal every single month. Never carry a balance and do everything proper in this banking relationship and they will unsecure it to an unsecured credit card. And there you have it. That's how you establish a, a new relationship 
and start to rebuild your credit. Now here's a big huge part that a lot of these amateur credit repair companies do not pay attention to. So in case you haven't noticed, there is a button underneath my video that says donate. That is for Nicole's wish. Put it up on the screen right here, okay? So now this is pretty awesome what we've been doing with this. I started a fundraiser to help donate to Nicole's wish that is granting wishes for children with critical illnesses. Now this is pretty awesome, whether it be a dollar, five dollars, two dollars, or some of you big ballers bust out your wallets. This is your time to flex your money on Make-A-Wish, okay? This is pretty awesome. So what Nicole's Wish does is they take all that money and they donate it into, into Make-A-Wish and they help grant wishes. Now, I'll put it up right here so you can see it. We have already granted five wishes. We have seven wishes that are pending and 12 wishes that have been adopted. That's pretty awesome. So anything you can do is gonna be pretty awesome. I mean, what more could we ask for? We're gonna help make some kids' wishes come true. I'm gonna put it up on the screen right here so you guys can see it, okay? This is pretty crazy. This is exactly what it's supposed to not look like on your credit report, okay? This is why I tell people, don't go after the bankruptcy, go after the accounts that are reporting on the credit report that were included in the bankruptcy. Look for the inaccuracies. When I have any client that has been involved in a bankruptcy, I send their file directly to an attorney to review it before we start disputing. Because if they can find an inaccuracy, then guess what? Potentially my client can potentially win some money that can pay for their credit repair. Imagine that. Isn't that amazing? Okay? <laughs> that, that's crazy. Two birds, one stone. Okay? So, look at this bankruptcy right here. Bankruptcy was discharged on 9-1-2017. Okay? Now look at the date reported. The date reported says it's 10-1-2022. How is that possible? When it was discharged on 9-1. It shouldn't be reporting anything, okay? That's inaccuracy number one. That's a violation. Inaccuracy number two, balance owed. Any account that was included in a bankruptcy should not report a balance. It's reporting $12,000 balance. Another violation, okay? Now my last and favorite violation, a late 60 days. Now, because they told on themselves and they're saying it last date reported was 10-1, they're saying a 60-day late was reported after the bankruptcy was discharged. That's a huge violation. These are the things that are hurting you when you're applying for any type of new credit. So these are the inaccuracies you do in fact want to go after because they can be monetary gains for a client, okay? This is very important. Look for the inaccuracies. Don't focus on a bankruptcy. Who cares about a bankruptcy? You can't hide a bankruptcy. So I hope you learned a lot about bankruptcies and how they report and how they shouldn't report, okay? Because it's very important to understand that process and understand that if you do go through financial hardship and you go through a bankruptcy, it's not game over. You just have to realign yourself, get yourself back on track financially. It is your chance to redo everything. Start redoing your life with a credit union, not a regular bank, okay? Get yourself a secured credit card. Don't get a Credit One, First Premier, Open Sky, Avant. Stay away from all those credit cards. Rebuild with a credit union, okay? If you have anything else you want me to talk about, about bankruptcies, drop it in the comment section. I would love to. I love talking about bankruptcies, okay? So, also, make sure to watch this next video that YouTube is recommending to you, okay? And as always, subscribe to increase your credit score.